So, 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 Outlast 2. What can I say about it? I mean, how the fuck should I know? I haven't even played it yet! Um, if you were in the description of this video, you may know why I'm talking about this. I'm gonna try to make this quick, but it's... It's a rant time. I've never done a rant time. I was actually thinking about recently because of yesterday to do a rant time. Oh, now I definitely have a problem with it. Um, it's about Outlast 2. Now, if some of you watched my previous videos, um, you know I was saying that I was gonna play Outlast 2 today. Well, what happened is, I pre-dolled a week ago. Let me give you the story, alright? So, about a week ago, um, I pre-dolled, it was like Friday, I think, um, Outlast 20 for PS4. Um, I pre-dolled it, because I didn't have Outlast 1 or the DLC, for, you know, DS4, but I didn't have for the Xbox One. I don't know, I just ran it, you know, for PS4. Honestly, bad mistake by now. Well, fucking what happened was that I pre-ordered it, and today, I was in the middle of, like, I was just, you know, I was on my lunch break, and I text, um, one of my parents, and I was like, hey, can you go, and, um, I think it was my mom, I asked her, I was like, hey, can you go and check and see if I have my package in the mail? Um, you know, uh, Outlast Trendy. Well, she was like, what package? And I was like, the, my, you know, the, the thing we ordered last week. She was like, it's not, it hasn't been shipped yet. And that, for once, pissed me off, alright? I'll get to why I wanted to make a land time yesterday, though, later. But that's the more why it pissed me off. So I was like, I was like, can you check it? It's like almost here? Is it halfway here? Is it gonna be here by, like, you know, tonight? Like, give me something. She then texted me back saying that, Fucking, it hasn't even left yet, and that it, and that I'm, um, I, by the way, I'm going off this, I'm not going off the script, so I'm just going at fucking random. Um, she was like, it hasn't even shipped yet, and they're out of stock. If you go on Amazon and type in Alan's Trendy right now, uh, this, if you, unless you're watching this in the future, they may have it, but it, they said they're out of stock. I was... Unbelievably pissed off in this because I pre order it. Right? I don't pre order a lot of games, but I pre order this game so I could do it on for the channel and I can play it myself because I've been waiting for this since like Outlast, since I finished Outlast Whistleblower. Because I was seriously after I beat it, like the DLC, I was like, man, I can't wait to play Outlast 2. Well, now I, I fucking can because I pay on fucking Lee, they'll out star now. That was my first part. So I came home. I'm gonna probably play. I'm gonna probably do Bioshock though. Um, that's probably what I'm gonna play today. But that's that was that's why I was pissed off at today. The reason why I went to make a time yesterday about Outlast 2 was that if you guys know, companies usually let want to of course advertise their game as much as possible. Well, I go on my YouTube. I go. I log into YouTube yesterday and I look. All my subject, all my suggestions, every every post I fucking watch is click has done a part one of Outlast 2. This one motherfucker, which he's he's not bad by the way, but I don't have anything against these guys. I'm honestly subscribing on my like book. I just wanna say that. But this dude, he put five parts of Outlast 2. Five whole fucking parts are like an hour long, and I'm like, how the fuck can you be able to do that in that like, short time span, I mean, obviously you do it, but, like, still, I mean, like, god damn, and, and then, like, I was pissed off, because, that's one thing I'm pissed off about, is that, I hate, I told you, I ain't told my friend this, and a couple months ago, a good example of this, is that a couple months ago, Ubisoft let this one YouTuber, I guess, play a demo, I did watch it, not to spoil myself, play the demo, or play, like, um, a little bit of South Park Deflection Butthole, that fucking game isn't even out yet. It's still being held back to today. So, I'm like, and like, it pisses me off. I'm, I know I'm transitioning from Outlast 2 to YouTube, but I hate when fucking gaming companies. Sorry about that, that was my fucking pet. I, I hate when gaming companies fucking do this shit. I hate when they let YouTubers have games earlier than the customer. Seriously, let's be honest here. Would you ever want to play the game yourself? Or would you ever want to watch some motherfucker oh, play the game? 
you want one to play yourself. I mean, let's be honest, I mean, you see, and uh, that's some shit I get pissed off about. It's like, I see a lot of YouTubers getting these games early, and obviously it's because of advertisement, alright? And that's understandable. I mean, you gotta remember, these are companies. I mean, yeah, they're gonna obviously want advertisers to shut up the game, but it's still unfair to the people how these motherfuckers can get the game. Well, remember back in the day when we used to have all those demos for the games? Remember when you can get a demo for a game and you play yourself in the tournament if you want to do it? Not a lot of games do that nowadays, or at least that I can find. Seriously, there's like barely any demos you can have anymore nowadays. I think they even, I think it's some of the, um, some of the stores on consoles and even on the PC, you can go in those uh, the entire section just for demos. It's just BS. How, in my opinion, these motherfuckers get games old. Even though it's some of them, some of them don't even know what the game's about. And I'm not, I'm not aiming towards like just be getting like you know, like it's the first game ever in the series. No, I'm talking about games that all have like that all like sequels. A good example of this is back when um. It was back when Metal Gear Solid 5 was about to come out. I think it was like a week or a day before Metal Gear Solid 5 was going to come out. And this one motherfucker was given a copy of the game to, to play, and they told him to play the beginning, the first chapter, like the hospital section of Metal Gear Solid Defense Pain. This dude said he has never played a Metal Gear Solid game in his life. Do you see the problem there, or is it just me? This motherfucker has never, ever played a game from the series, and he fucking, and they say, oh yeah, you know, this guy has no experience with it. let's just give him the game for free. Like, and I guess you would say that's his first game ever, like, from the game series, and like, it's understandable, but still BS how like, some of these game companies don't even, like, think about giving them to certain people. If it was me, if I had to give my game to someone, I would give it to some, like, YouTube, some gamer that is that loves the Metal Gear Solid series. Like I like, and this when I'm gonna try to go back to our last two because I I'm kind of going off the path. This this the, that last five minutes is is um is for a no day. Trust me, I'm gonna do a rant about that. I mean, I guess both of these are kind of like in the mixture. But anyways, back to our last two. It's it's bullshit how like. You, I, like I said, I don't pre-order a lot of games, because I don't. Unless, if I definitely know the game's gonna come out, or well, not come out, but like, gonna be good, <coughs> Rockstar Games, then I pre-order the game. But if it's some other game that I've never seen before, only saw in a couple trailers and screenshots, then I don't. Like, for example, Overwatch, I didn't pre-order that game, because I, I saw it, I mean, it looks fine, but like, I didn't, I didn't expect a lot from it. But then, you know, and then after watch a couple more videos about it and stuff, I bought it, and I play it. But, yeah guys, I don't know, I, I'm a little bit pissed off right now because of it. Um, so yeah, don't suspect me playing Outlast 2 for a little while. Um, at least, at least for like a week or something. I'm gonna try to do old stuff to try to satisfy you guys until I can be able to get my hands on the game, because... It's complete bullshit how I, you know, you pay for a product, and I say it's a lot of you. I even say they fuck up our food, like, like, food that I get at, like, like, fast food joints, like McDonald's, Wool King, or I don't know, some fucking Wendy's, make the Pizza Hut, some shit, you know, when I'm like, they messed up our food, and everyone's like, oh no, no, I'm like, no, we paid for it, so we can fucking, like, you know, we, we get what we pay for, you know, I didn't pay $10 to fucking get a fucked up, like, I don't know, meal, or an uncooked meal that's like raw. No, I didn't pay my money to get this. I paid my money to get good ass food. And it's the same with videos. That's why I don't like pre getting games that are pre owned. Because, really, the discs are like fucked up. And, like, I get that they're like pre owned. And, like, they're like $5 though, or at least in the US it's $5. Then fucking getting, like, a brand new copy, but like, still, like, you get, I uh, like, I, like, I, I'm, I'm trying to say, I know I'm stuttering a lot, it's just how I am. I should have gotten Outlast 2. 
Alright, and some of you may find this fucking stupid, some of you may find it as I'm being just a baby, and I'm just, you know, it's not a big deal, and I just have to wait till, like, I, I don't know, like, that I can just wait for it. But that's not the point. The point is that you pay for something that you want, and then, like, you know, you don't get it. It's just bullshit. And, like, I literally was so pissed off today because of it. Like, that ruined my whole lunch because, like, seriously, like, just hearing that it's out of stock and I paid my money knowing that this game should come in should, you know, like, I I'm, I don't have it fucking pisses me off. And obviously, this shows that Outlast, Outlast is getting, or Red Barrel is getting a lot of money from this. Because if so many people pre-order, unless Amazon's low on stock, if so many people fucking pre-own, uh, pre-order, fucking Outlast Trinity, then they must be doing something right. Because I will pre-order this for the fucking PS4, and I don't know how long until that game's fucking gonna come in. Alright guys, I'm... I don't know, I kind of went on a little bit of rails on this fucking plan time. I went from going from fucking Outlast to talk about how I'm sick about YouTubers getting fucking games or all the regular people, to like fucking dissatisfaction of a pain like, stuff that we want. I, I know, this fucking, this is supposed to be solely based off Outlast, but it pisses me off so much that we can't get it. Because it's just bullshit. And I feel like, and also, I'm gonna be coming back to that YouTuber thing. I swear to God, that shit is stu fucking stupid. I'm coming back, I'm coming back to that, because it is BS how some people get games oil. Then, like, some customers who are more dedicated to the game series. Then, oh, so anyways, guys, that was my first ever land time. Um, I'm using a different mic, by the way. I got, like, 500 mics, I swear to God. I got, like, this one, I got, like, the one I used for, like, Outlast, like, Bioshock, the, um, the one I, like, like, like clip on. Um, I'm gonna probably stick with this one, because I thought this one had shit quality, but this one actually does not sound that bad. And then I got the one... My headset, which I use for like um, PS4 games when I'm streaming them. But, anyways, guys, I love you all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.